Welcome to Bar India News R. Wi-Fi 6E is the upcoming standard for an extension of Wi-Fi 6. With the growing demand to connect more devices to the network, Wi-Fi 6E will enable enterprises and service providers to support new and emerging applications and keep each connected device performing at an optimum level. The newly termed Wi-Fi 6E is going to address Wi-Fi spectrum shortage issues by providing additional and contagious channel bandwidths, supporting an ever-growing number of devices at unprecedented speeds. The added 1200 MHz in the 6 GHz band will enable enterprises to deliver faster, more reliable enterprise Wi-Fi networks. These networks will be highly scalable and resilient with simplified architectures improving their ability to support more users at multi-gigabit speeds even in very congested environments with many mobile and IoT devices. Wi-Fi 6E further increases the network capacity and efficiency for demanding and mission-critical applications that require higher throughput such as enterprise video streaming and video conferencing. The initial generation of Wi-Fi 6E chipsets is now available for vendors to start the development of both access points and mobile devices. Enterprise IT departments worldwide are developing their Wi-Fi 6E deployment strategies. Wi-Fi 6E products will be available in the next two years. As client devices, which often lack chipset development, become more widely available, organizations whose requirements go beyond the reach of 802.11ax are likely to initiate migration projects. Wi-Fi 6E provides all the features and capabilities of 802.11ax, but it does so by operating in the 6 GHz band. 802.11ax goes beyond boosting network speed and combines innovative technologies to improve overall network performance when connecting a large number of devices running high bandwidth, low latency applications. Wi-Fi 6E is expected to support more simultaneous users connecting to the network at high speeds with lower latency making Wi-Fi 6E and the 6 GHz spectrum work. A report highlights with overcrowded airwaves currently limiting the potential of Wi-Fi, it's no wonder that more than 70 countries have already acted or are considering acting to open the 6 GHz band for unlicensed Wi-Fi use. Wi-Fi 6E will first roll out in high-end smartphones and laptop PCs, meaning it may be helpful to consider where device users are likely to congregate and work versus areas they will primarily travel through. Once Wi-Fi 6E devices have gained broader adoption, network architectures should look seriously at ensuring they have multi-gigabyte ports on the switches driving their APs. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Supreme Court allows negotiation to continue despite approval of corporate insolvency resolution plan. The Supreme Court recently gave permission to an operational creditor of a company under insolvency proceedings to continue arbitration proceedings despite approval of the corporate insolvency resolution plan by the Committee of Creditors and the top court itself. The Supreme Court has also approved the resolution plan despite the appellant Fourth Dimension Solutions Limited's challenge to the same being pending before the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. It was stated that the NCLAT had approved a resolution plan rejecting the appellate's claims despite being the highest operational creditor of the respondent company Rico India. Capital Land to invest Rs 11,000 crores in India data center business. Singapore-based Capital Land is boosting its investments in its India data center business within months of foray into the country as it sees massive demand and growth opportunities here. CEO of the trustee manager of Asindas India Trust, Sanjeev Dasgupta, stated that the company is looking at investing $1.5 to $2 billion over the next 5 to 6 years in India with plans to expand into all 5 to 6 major metros in the country. Sheena Kapoor appointed as Head of Marketing, Corporate Communications and CSR of ICICI Lombard. India's leading private general insurance company ICICI Lombard has appointed Sheena Kapoor as its new Head Marketing, Corporate Communications and CSR. She will spearhead the company's innovative efforts with an enterprise-wide focus, helping in scaling the company's overall brand positioning among other players. In this role, Sheena will focus on developing and strengthening corporate advertising and branding, customer-oriented awareness strategies across all company product lines and geographies. Micron to close DRAM chip design operations in Shanghai. 
Memory chip maker Micron Technology will shut its DRAM chip designing operations in Shanghai by the end of this year. Micron makes NAND memory chips that serve the data storage market as well as DRAM chips that are widely used in data centers, personal computers and other devices. The company is expected to ask some of the 150 Chinese engineers on the site to relocate to the United States or India. Tamil Nadu gets its own drone manufacturing company. Chief Minister M.K. Stalin launched Tamil Nadu Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Corporation that was set up at a cost of Rs 10 crores. The objectives of the UAVC include designing, manufacturing and trading of all types of drones and allied systems including multi-mission airborne drones, unmanned aerial systems and aerial surveillance for search and rescue operations. Stalin also virtually inaugurated a 1 megawatt capacity solar power plant installed at a cost of 7.25 crores on the Madurai Kamaraj University campus. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.